Hello and welcome, this is going to be a quick video on these five points and these are tips just to make your life a little bit easier or things you might not know. So we've got how to easily find your project when first loading Godot. So if you've got lots of projects, it's easy to get them lost and when you go to the project list, you're like, oh, where is it? How to export with no pack file, so you've got just an executable file. How to add an icon to your executable file and also how to remove the debugger from the executable file. How to change the boot screen of your game, which um, some of this might be simple. A lot of you all know it already, so let's get into it. So if you're anything like me, you've got lots of projects and you'll find often that you can't find it. So what we're going to do is open this project, go to your project settings, and you'll notice something called icon. Let's put an icon in. I'm going to use something out of my sprites and I'll use this bat here. I'll open this, close it. And now when we quit project to the list, save it. Now when we search for the project, all we have to do is look for the icon. I know it's a bat. So straight away, there it is. So this saves me a bit of time. Tip two, when I press play, you'll notice that you've got the Godo engine here. Maybe you don't want that. So we'll go to your project settings, go to your boot splash and select an image you want. I'll just use this tree for quickness. Now when we press play again, we see a big tree. Keep in mind, any image that you use will be stretched. To change our executable file icon, you're gonna need this software, RC Edit, and we'll call this from inside Godot. Please download this file here. Once RC Edit is finished downloading, go to Editor, Edit Settings, go to the Export, go to Windows, and you'll notice that mine's already complete, so I'm pointing it to already. So what you need to do is press this folder icon here, find where you downloaded RC Edit, select it, open it, and then you'll have a reference to it. Close this. You notice I've got an icon test PNG. I've converted that to an ICO. If you drag this into the project, it won't be recognized. What we need to do is right click, show in file manager, highlight these two files and drag them. It will only show the PNG, but the icon is there for us to select. And to do that, we're just going to go to our project settings again, up to application config, windows native icon, and then find it. Here it is, icon test ICO. Open that, close. Now we're ready to export. We're going to go to our project. We're going to go to export and I'm going to add Windows desktop. You might have to download install templates. I've already got them installed, but Godot will recommend you the right ones. Now for tip four, if you don't want a pack file and you want it to just be an executable file, we're going to embed our pack file. So click this on. We're going to go right down to the bottom of here. I'm going to make sure that applications icon is selected. I'll do the same thing again. Now finally, we're going to export the file. And then for our final tip, we're going to turn export with debug off. I do feel this is a little bit hidden away here and I've missed it quite a few times. Now locate to a folder you want to export to. This is directory I'm going to use, so I'm going to put in Runjun here, XC, save. It might take a while, so just hold on. Now if we close down, now go to the directory you saved the file in. Mine was here. And as you can see, we've got the Runjun, we've got the icon change, and it's a single file by itself. And that concludes the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it useful, and I'll see you in the next one.